There are so many things you can do with your phone and to mention a few, I'm going to be telling you some productive things you can do with your phone. Yeah, the only thing you can do with your phone is not just Twitter, Instagram, WhatsApp, make calls, do videos, chat and send messages, but you can also do something really productive. But then you are not sweating about it, you're just sitting on your bed, on your couch, on your sofa, from the comfort of your home and you're doing all these productive things. How beautiful is that? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Philomena in the building. If this is your first time here, you're absolutely welcome. If you're a regular viewer, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. So there are so many things you can do with your phone and I'm going to be starting with creating a good design or a logo for your brand or your company. You know, some of us will pay huge sums of money, you know, to get people to design for us, get people to, you know, come up with logos. I remember one time I was going to pay someone to do a design for me and this person was like my classmate then in school and he was telling me 40k. I'm like, okay, students like me, where do you want to get 40k from? But I got to discover that Canva works just the same way it works on your laptop so you can use canva to design your own logo on your phone so all you need to do is to go to canva.com and you're going to get all the basic tutorials that you need to come up with a logo or a design for your brand thank you you're welcome rather so you're welcome i know you didn't know this before if you knew it before start designing your logo Point number two, you can make money online. Yep, you can. You know, there are so many things that you can do online for money. First of all, if you're a writer, a designer, or something, there's an app called Fiverr. There's, it's like a business place, a marketplace for writers and content creators. So if you use this app, you can sell your writings, your work, your artwork, whatever it is you can do artistically on Fiverr. On LinkedIn also, you meet people, clients, customers, people that you can work with and do business with. So your phone is not just a device, but it's also a productive tool for monetization. Oh my god, I sound like a business enthusiast now. Anyways, moving to the next point. The next point is that you can read a book. I know, I know everybody is like, oh, how come it's just books that you are telling me to read? Why are you being so serious? It's not just educational books. You can read novels, you can read poems, you can read a lot of good books on your phone. The popular one is um, any book, so you can download the app, any books on your phone, and you can read books. Come on, who doesn't want to know more, or who doesn't want to, you know, feel... You know, have you, have you been reading a book before, and you're like, oh, this has to be me, this has to be me. Yes, so you can have that experience using your phone. So this is, this is one other productive thing you can do with your phone. Point number three, another thing you can do with your phone that is definitely a productive stuff to do is to have an app that helps manage your time. You know, we have, I know people that have about 100 and something apps and I'm like, okay, what are those? What are you doing with those? But yeah, there's an app that helps you manage your time on your phone and some phones actually came with such features where you can just manage your time on social media, especially where it shuts you out entirely from your social media platform. Platforms. The only thing you can do with your phone at that time is either you receive a call, make a call, or send an SMS. So this app or this feature on your phone is very, very paramount where it helps you be productive outside your phone, especially if you do work on paper or you work online with your system or something like that. So there's no distraction on your phone. So you get me. Point number four, your phone is not just a tool for, you know, chats and all that. You can write your brilliant ideas that just came in maybe at 12 midnight. You can write them down on your notepad. You can also record it on your recorder. So for example, yeah, I have this beautiful idea and I'm on the road. I don't have a pen on paper. And even just if I have a pen on paper, I cannot just stand on the road and start to write. But what I can simply do is to pick up my phone recorder and then start to talk on into the phone. So I record every idea I have and when I get back home, I sit down and I listen to those ideas and probably put it on paper or start getting to work and being productive with those ideas. So it's not me to say, oh, I thought about this and what now? I can't remember, I forgot it. Your phone is a tool for you to remember ideas, write down ideas, note it down on your notepad. Moving on to my next point, you can shoot a YouTube video just like this. Hello, hey guys, welcome to my channel. You don't have to use a camera, you don't have to get the fantastic everything that you need, the lights, the set, the backdrop, the this, the that. 
All you need to do is to have your phone and you can make YouTube videos using your phone. Just in case you would like to know more about using your phone to make content, please I would like you to comment below and I'm going to do a dedicated video showing you how you can start your own YouTube channel using your phone and creating beautiful content. So the next point is that you can learn a new skill online. I cannot overflow this. Like your phone gives you a platform to learn anything you can learn online you know i know that there are some courses that you want to do online that you need a laptop and because of the you know microsoft excel and some of, some of all those kind of um, softwares that you need you can use your phone to learn a lot of things online i believe that some classes zoom and all those things you can use your phone to do that so you can learn a course online and get certificates like in this lockdown period of quarantine i've been able to have two certificates online and i used my phone guys i used my phone moving on to the next point guys the next point is that you can network on your phone guys I know that networking is more, when networking comes to mind, the first thing that comes to mind is, oh, um, so, um, social media, which is um, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, but beyond Twitter and Facebook, yeah, I'm talking about you meeting real people, for example, the Tinder app, you can meet someone, I know people who have gotten married from Tinder, guys, go and get yourself a boo, just in case you are single, go and get yourself a what, a boo, go and get married, please, there's love in the air love everywhere see couples like ah this tiktok times sha see couples doing let me give you something new <laughs> okay guys don't mind me but yeah you can meet people online business partners you know so there are several platforms where you can meet people online so networking is very important for example this thing that iphone does where there's this thing called moon party where more than four people can just be they can knock on your door open it and come into your party you know i know a lot of people who have met friends and work colleagues just using that home party app so yeah you can network with your phone so with this few points of mind i hope i've been able to tell you that the only thing you can do with your phone is not just twitter instagram whatsapp make calls do videos chat and send messages but you can also do something really productive but then you're not sweating about it you're just sitting on your bed on your couch on your sofa from the comfort of your home and you're doing all these productive things how beautiful is that okay which one are you going to do? So let me know below. Comment below. What have you been doing before with your phone? What did you learn from this video? Like something you did not know that you could do before that you learned. And just in case you knew all, which did I remind you of? Or which of them do you do the most? I've come to the end of this video, guys. I hope this was helpful. If you like it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're yet to subscribe to my channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. You've watched up to this point. You know you like me. Please click the subscribe button below. I'm going to see you on my next one, okay? Until next time, guys. Bye!